saving everyone. Look what I got. A new snapback. All right, I got a show. Opening for Chris Webby, November 9th in Seattle. You out here, let's do it. Okay. Silent for a second, I'm trying to find my direction. I'm far from doing this wrong. You should see the sales I'm projecting. I'm Good morning, everyone. I hope you all had a very nice Halloween. I, on the other hand, oh hell no! I don't know what I did, I don't know what I ate. I think I might have just eaten too much on Sunday night. I think, and I spent all of yesterday just getting sick and stuff. But got to bed really early last night at about half eight, got up at six this morning, and I'd recovered properly. So I'm in college. Um, so today is November 1st, that actually means that I only have one month left to pay up the remaining balance for the ski trip. But yes, other than that, I will see you guys this afternoon. Ooh. Ooh, how are you? Look how beautiful it is. Freaking, it's like autumn times, it really is like the fall, isn't it? All the leaves are on the ground. We're gonna go to the Wall of Knowledge, have a little chat. There we go, Wall of Knowledge. Yeah, so I got this snapback on Saturday, just after I finished that vlog with Scott. Oh no, it was a previous day. It's a good day. It was a good day. It got me thinking like, I love snapbacks. I haven't really told you guys why I love them. So I brought my little collection of snapbacks with me. Um, so I think I have six overall. I think I've lost one of them. Um, but I have five here with me today. So the one I'm wearing, the Mickey Mouse one, which is one of the very first ones I got. A lot of people ask me why I wear this cap. Why I wear it everywhere. One, I love it. Two, I want to have a collection of them when I'm older. And three, it's Mickey Mouse. So like, what's not to like? This is one I got in H&M. This is one I got in B or It. I'm gonna go for this one. It's like a nice red. It's like a nicer red than my Mickey Mouse one. And this is another one I got in Dublin. I'm gonna go for this one because it looks more different and it has a smiley face on it. So I can just explain to you why they fascinate me so much. So first off, the straps vary. So some have like buttons like this, and others don't have buttons at all. They have just a straight flat thing here. That makes a difference to how it looks on your head. So you can push it up and you can show some of your hair, or you can have no hair at all, if that makes sense. And um, with the American ones, they tend to have a lot of branding at the sides, uh, and it's vaguely based around like NBA, MLB, uh, what's the other one? With the branding and that, I feel like they can charge higher prices, um, whereas for these types of ones, they have the same style as in they have the flat piece here instead of it being bendy, but there's no branding on it so they can charge a lower price. One of the issues I find with these ones is that it's based on the circumference of your head. So look here, it says seven and five eighths. So it's not, it's not adjustable, it's one size fits all. So if it doesn't fit your head like this one, like this one's just slightly too big for my head, so it just doesn't work out really. Why? The benefit of this is that you can adjust it based on your head size. Another interesting thing is I this this is one of the first ones I got and I love this. It's actually fairly deformed now as you can see. I really like this colour. It's it's a slightly different colour. It's a bit like it's like red, but it's not quite like red, it's crimson. So it just makes a difference. In the same way that this isn't quite brown, it's sort of a, a slightly different tint of brown, and that's what I really like about it. So for me, I like colours that look slightly different, branding that looks slightly different, um, and different ways you can wear it. I'd love to actually have like a snapback line in the future, it'd be really cool. Here's a photo of myself wearing a snapback when I was really young. Hi mum! One of the reasons why I love wearing those types of hats is that it can, it can just give you a different personality, it can make you feel different. And it can just, I love the pair of clothing, and pair of hats and what hats can do for you and change how you look and change how you feel and change your confidence. Bruh. But yeah, there's a little history into my snapback, why I love it and stuff. Um, I've got a maths test now. I'll see you guys later on this afternoon. Afternoon everyone, finished my maths test, went pretty well. Um, last week, or the week before, there was like a breast cancer awareness, it was like breast cancer awareness week or something, and there was this stall set up in the Quinn School where you could basically test your physical strengths on like skipping and how many push-ups you can do, and there was supposed to be like a prize for whoever could do the most push-ups or whatever. So I did the push-ups challenge, I think, I can't remember how many I got, maybe 47 or something, but I was the only one who did it. I got an email over the weekend, as you can see here, saying I won the competition, so. Leave it to the floor! Are you gonna, are we gonna do a Q&A sometime? Sometime we are definitely gonna do one, yeah? Liam's from Canada. Canada. Oh, Canada. Did you know like, I won a prize for uh, the amount of push-ups I could do? How many? 
47 in a minute. Oh, in a minute? Oh shit, that's pretty good. I won a voucher, which I'm going to collect now from the law building. See you around. See you soon, Liam. Uh, how are you? I think somebody asked a voucher for me earlier on. Uh, Thomas Arnold. Free one day pass to go swimming. I actually don't swim myself, so if anyone in the comment section below wants a swimming pass, let me know and I'll hook you up. Currently going into the library to upload a YouTube video. Tuesday, probably one of the funniest ones I've ever done. I don't think I've ever shown you guys a library before, so this is a cool experience. finished in the library and um, got that YouTube video up, took up this evening as you can see it's very dark outside the clocks went back this weekend which means that it's gonna get darker a lot quicker and it's first of November actually so winter is coming and you're actually gonna to get to see the real Ireland because it gets freaking cold beautiful out here as you can see the lights are really nice and you see at night time There you go, cinematic sequence finished. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Apologies for it being a little bit shorter than usual. Uh, it wasn't as much going on, but I'll try and make them as fresh as I can for your guys' enjoyment. So as always, if you like guys enjoyed the video, give it a like rating. Other than that, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.